14. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> My titties is on fire. What is up, fam? Coming to you live from the Cloud House Garage Gym. We got another challenge for you guys. Um, we're holding some eggs. So I'm gonna let my man Nick explain to you what we're gonna be doing today. So we have a few dozen eggs in our hands and we wanna make up a new workout challenge. You know, like how much can you max bench? That's already a challenge. How many reps to 25 can you get? That's already a challenge. So we're gonna be taping eggs to the bar today to hit reps on bench, squat, and dead. So eggs are gonna be taped right here for the bench. We're gonna be hitting our reps. Egg has to touch your chest and come back up, and that's a rep. When the egg cracks, your turn is over. We're gonna add up total reps from bench, squat, and dead to see who's the egg lifting master. My strategy is to not break the egg, ever. I think we're gonna hit about 25. Hopefully uh, Nick hits 24. So I can get this W today. So my overall strategy for this challenge, every rep matters on this. So you could be three reps in and the egg breaks and you like you have so much gas left in the tank, but you just crack your egg so you're done. So obviously every rep matters. So my goal is to go a little bit slow. I think going slow is gonna help me because if I'm trying to like Pop them out, I'm gonna smash that egg. So I'm like a little bit more controlled. Maybe slow down and explode up because at the top I don't have to worry about the egg cracking. So I'm going for slow reps here. So we just had a little discussion on the definition of a crack. So I thought like maybe like ooze has to leak out of it for it to be a break, but any kind of crack or structural break in the egg means that your set is over, it's done, it can touch the ground. Once you get that little crack going, you're out. I'm up first, so it's time to set the bar for our egg reps. Nice and controlled here. Let's see how many I can knock out. I think 20 is not a bad number. Uh, we're not counting the rep that it cracks on, so it's how many clean reps you got. But 20 is not, it's not great, but you know, it's, it's a start. So we're setting up his egg now, and he's gonna try to beat 20. So I just saw Nick complete it. He got 20 reps. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because it is a damn egg, but I guess I'm gonna switch up my approach and go a little bit slow and uh, hopefully we get more than 20. I can see that egg staring down at me. I knew that last one's cracking. The top of the crack. Yeah. There's the break in the end. 28, yeah. So after the first exercise bench, he is up 28. I have 20, so that's eight reps to make up over this squat and deadlift. Excellent. <laughs> I'm waiting for that one. Uh, exercise number two for our competition, we're gonna do squat with uh, 135 pounds. We're going to set two eggs, one on this side, one on this side, tape them around. Um, if you break one egg, your reps are done. Since Nick went first on the bench, I knew the number to beat. Uh, I'm gonna go first on the squat, so he knows the number to beat. 
For this one, we're gonna be setting up the catch bars so like they're at parallel. So right now we're kind of warming up, getting loose, but for me, parallel would be like right about like here. So we bring the catch bars up a few notches so the eggs are at parallel. So you gotta tap those eggs and then come back up. Oh yeah, that's secure. Extremely tired, uh, even after doing about 15 reps. Um, you have to go down extremely slow. And my focus was uh, just on one egg. So making sure that I was bringing my body down parallel, hitting the one egg. I knew if I brought the other side down parallel, I wasn't gonna break the left egg. So just focusing on that one egg, so in control and trying to shoot back up until I felt my legs starting to give out. And then I just went to do, speed up the uh, pace. So I to get as many more than I, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Just so I get finished strong, I guess. So I got like four more reps after doing that. So hopefully Nick don't get 15. <laughs> One. Did I crack it? Yeah. Fuck! I suck at this. Still on the first rep. After that disappointing squat performance, I know every rep counts and I wasn't focusing and I cracked the egg, but I am at 21 total reps. 20 on bench, one on the squat. He hit 28 and then 16, so he's at 44. So the standing is 21, 44. Got a lot of ground to make up. For the deadlift, we're gonna be taping the egg to the weight. So we're taping it to the bottom of the plate, uh, right about here. So when you're unracking it, you just gotta deadlift down to here and come back up. Egg shell. One. Two. Three. Up, so we'll see if I can do it here. Thank you. 
we have a new champion egg lifter. Excellent. <laughs> Mr. BLE10. Uh, if our math is correct, because we're, it's hot in here, we get confused. I believe he had 58 total reps. I had 41 total reps. My only, my only accomplishment here was I didn't get sweep, swept on all three exercises. Yeah. At least I won the deadlift. He did win the deadlift. He did win. That was a difficult one. But he uh, swept on the other two though. So. <laughs> that squat got me. That one rep really hurt. But it was challenging though. It, it was a, it was a fun challenge for sure. So I had a lot of fun doing it. If you got more fun challenges you want to see us do, or some stupid ass challenges, let us know. Drop in the comments anything, any ideas. We'll try them out, see how it goes. I think the official standing right now is 1-1 in the head-to-head -head competitions. Yeah. Beer mile, <laughs> egg lifter, tie game 1-1. Comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. At Nick Flint on Instagram, at bhaley10 on Instagram. Tell them what else you want to plug. What else we want to plug? Beautiful. <laughs> See you in the next video. <laughs>